the type of things we're doing with the predictive technology is super exciting. So people that have made the investment in the base layer of tech can quickly uh, scale technology in an unparalleled way. It's just uh, the opportunities for this stuff is really exciting. Looking forward for the next 10 years. At Gray Matter, uh, we, we think about transforming operations and empowering people. And what we mean by that is really working with the industrial uh, data that those people have. Um, the reason I founded it, I love this American industrial landscape generally. Um, and then we started thinking about how can we take digital tech, apply it to the industrial landscape and drive some really cool outcomes. We have a really good actual story. Um, one of our good clients is Marzetti. Marzetti makes uh, salad dressing and also really cool, they make the dipping sauce for Chick-fil-A. So we, we actually did, we had a meeting with the CEO and um, he said, I, I would love for you guys to, to look at my facilities, pick the high priority facilities. It was easy, it was the Chick-fil-A ones. Tell me what to do. Uh, if you were spending money like I was spending money, what would you prioritize for the capital spend to get better? And then once we go live, can your team work with our team really to teach them how to get the outcomes that we're signing up for? I'm signing up to the board. I want teach them how to fish, make sure they're getting the right uh, reductions. They were actually overfilling some of the salad dressing bottles and some of the Chick-fil-A packets. So there was a huge amount of waste giveaway Lots of, uh, it, was, it was a big, easy win for us together. It was, it was pretty cool. So if you run out of dipping sauce for your nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> nobody, nobody likes that. Nobody likes that, for sure. We know who to talk to. <laughs> Cybersecurity really came into our world, and we think about the industrial intelligence operation technology world. It was sort of an afterthought. Uh, IT departments were thinking about it, but people in engineering and the ops side, so running the factory, running the HVAC system, running the well pad. It really was, I think about 10 years ago when something called Stuxnet hit, um, and it was a worm virus, uh, attacked some systems that were controlling some power plants, and all of a sudden there was a pretty big epiphany over, whoa, this is a big deal. We don't want these systems to, to be interrupted. Uh, we don't want people to steal IP out of there if we have a secret sauce. Um, so we went out and started really evaluating partners. And um, our partnership uh, thought process is, you know, A, do they have good tech? That's table stakes. Uh, do they sh kind of share our vision and values? We take the core values pretty seriously. And then do we see a path to growing together over the long term? So we're attacking the problems of anomaly detection on those networks, uh, deception on those networks, giving false targets, and then finally, uh, it's sort of a hardening segmentation strategy. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but uh, might be worth pointing out on the target hack for all the credit cards. That was actually um, hacked by the HVAC system, which is really an operational system. And then they, they bounced from the OT system over to where all the credit cards were. So I think that's a, you know, we say that a lot of people spend time on the front door and people sneak through the back window. So is your team comprised of MBAs, engineers, operations folks? How do you build your team so you can interact with your, your customers? Yeah, yeah we have an interesting mix of talents. I think um, engineering would be sort of the focus core. Um, we got a lot of electrical engineers, a lot of computer science people. Uh, currently, we have some data science people because we're doing a lot of predictive analytics and cool stuff with Microsoft Azure. Um, but I think the core is really an engineering background. We have a lot of really great people from industry also. So we've got people that used to work at Smuckers, used to work at paper companies, used to work in the water industry, used to work in the power industry. So we have quite a bit of subject matter expertise across our verticals as well. One, one of my tips I might offer for, for people that are going through the journey, um, one of the things I did maybe six or seven years ago was find a group of like-minded CEOs, and I, I used an organization called Vistage, but there's, there's a number of these kind of things. So I, I've got a real, really great group of friends that run businesses of various sizes in that group. And um, I had been, for about a year, 
uh, during my commute time talking to PE companies, and I, I had a spreadsheet of about 75 of them. And um, I was having lunch with one of my friends from my Vistage group, and he said to me, um, do you hang your own drywall? I'm like, well, of course not. I'm, I'm horrible at drywall. He's like, wait a minute, you don't even cut your own grass, do you? I'm like, guilty. <laughs> He's like, why do you think you're a good investment banker? Like, like well, I'm, I'm a Boy Scout. It's, it's one of the laws is thrifty. He's like, no, 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 that's cheap. That's cheap. That's a, he's like, you need to, you can't meet a, beat a man at his own business. You need to get a professional. So I got a really great guy team that worked with us. Um, I will say everything's negotiable in that community. So we, we came up with a mutually agreeable plan that we felt really good about and uh, got a great outcome. You, uh, you still have some tread on the tire professionally. What are your goals and plans for, for your company uh, in the next 10, 20 years? Would you like to sell it? Do you want it to, uh, to pass to your children? What are your succession plans there? Yeah, I think when we chose to bring the private equity uh, folks on, uh, we're looking to significantly grow the company, uh, double, triple kind of things. And I, I think that the natural uh, next step for us and for them would be to partner up with the next tier of private equity to really go international and do some other things. So we, we think the target market's good, we, the brand's good, the team's good, and it, it'll be a matter of how do, we, how do we prove it to the next level and then hit the accelerator one more time. And I'm, I'm happy to do that uh, for a while still. So. All right, thank you, Jim. Appreciate your time. Thank you.